This video will outline the basic principles behind using a supported spindle. I'm going to use one of my little square whorl Tibetans and a nostapine for plying yarn. If you've got a spindle that's full of singles, what do you do with it then? The, uh, we get that question a lot. A lot of people learn to spin and then uh, the next step uh, to making yarn sometimes is left out. So if you've got an ostapine and some sort of spindle, whether it's a drop spindle or a support spindle of all the different various types, it's very easy to make finished yarn. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the yarn off of my the singles off of my spindle. I'm going to put a clove hitch and there's a clove hitch lesson in first principles on our channel. I'm going to put a clove hitch on the nostapine. And then I'm going to wrap a center pull ball on the nostapine. The nostapine is a great tool. It's a very old tool farm. First thing you do with the nostapine is you lay down a foundation. And this isn't going to be a real big ball of yarn, but on uh, most nostapines, uh, about half the length of the nostapine, the working end, is about right to make a big center pull ball. So if this if this spindle were completely full of yarn, it would make a pretty big ball of yarn. So we're going to wrap just enough to get a ball formed with this little bit of yarn, a little bit of singles I got created. This is a Romney fleece and it was a test spin to see how it spun up and it's, uh, it's pretty woolly. It was carded but uh, it's still a pretty fluffy yarn. It's not got a lot of crimp to it. So the next step after you lay the foundation with the nostapine is to wrap and hold the nostapine out straight. Wrap underneath and over the top in a single motion. Under, over the top, underneath, over the top, underneath. And then at the same time to spin the nostapine towards you. So you'll notice that in my left hand, since I'm left handed, if you're right handed the action is the same, the nostapine always rotates towards you, is to over an overhand over the top and underneath, over the top and underneath, over the top and underneath. And the purpose for putting the clove hitch on the nostapine was to keep the center from walking back up into the center pull ball because if you don't tie it down the nostapine will pull that as you as you wrap the ball it will pull the center yarn inside and you won't have a center pull ball no more you'll just have an outside ball which is fine but the purpose that we're going to use this for is we're going to take the single off of our spindle and the single comes off the spindle goes into a center pull ball and we will use the outside and the inside of the center pull ball to ply back onto the Tibetan spindle and when we get done we will have a two ply yarn made that uses all of the yarn so if you use two balls, one of the problems that everybody has is if you use two balls of yarn to make your ply, you've always got some left over. And with these spindles, these Tibetans will hold a lot of yarn. So it's very difficult to end up with an uh, exact amount on both, both balls. And you end up with a lot of leftovers. And what do you do with those leftovers then? Because it's pretty specific to what you spun. And you'd like to make sure that all that gets used. Well, the center pull ball solves that problem. Because the center pull ball takes all of the singles off of your spindle. 
and now I've got the ball wrapped. Again, the action was to lay a foundation and then to, to hold the nostapine straight out from your hand and to wrap over the top, across the top of the spindle, and then underneath, back underneath the spindle while you're spinning the nostapine towards you. So it's really two very simple motions that are difficult to coordinate at first. The one motion is the motion with your primary hand where you spin the nostapine towards you. And the other motion is basically just a circle that you draw in the air with your yarn around the nostapine over and over again. And I'm going to pull this off. And that's the nostapine. This yarn stick. And now we have a center and an outside. And I'm going to do a send here. I'm going to tie these together for the start. If you're a true spinner, you'll spin them together and make sure that they're fast. And we spun this clockwise. So this is an SZ twist yarn that we're making. And I'm going to start it on the hook. And the motion, the motion with this as it comes off of the center pull ball, and I'm going to pull the camera back just a little bit. We, wrap, we wound the singles that we made clockwise when we started. So the motion with the spindle, with the Tibetan spindle, to make two ply yarn with an SZ twist is counterclockwise. So there's the start. The yarn as you flip the the center pull ball around and around will come off of the center pull ball, ball for you. We're going to tie this onto the spindle with another clove hitch. And you can just start wrapping your, you can wrap your finished yarn onto your spindle as you go. And we're going to put a couple of wraps on the hook to make sure it stays. That's the nice thing about these hooks. And we're going to spin counterclockwise. And the, the thing about making two-ply with a hand spindle is that it's very easy to check the balance of your yarn as you go. And it's a very fast process. So I like to make primitive, pretty heavy yarns for the things that I make. So my baskets and my brooms and a lot of other odds and ends get bound with the yarns that, I, that I'll make. Um, I especially like to over dye the yarn after we're done. So the, the, the yarn will tighten up and set after we make a, a skein with it. We'll wash it. And then the fun thing I like to do with these yarns after they're done, if I'm using lots of different colors of wool, because I'll, I'll end up spinning a lot of different kinds of wool at festival. There's a good balance on that yarn. Is to over dye with some sort of bright colors. And again, this is a very fast process. And it's really easy to check the twist of your yarn as you go, as you wrap on.
So the advantage of the center pull ball and the support spindle in making finished yarn, all this is, this is ready for skein winder. This is just a, a test spin to see how our Romney was going to spin up and um, that we've got washed and we've got uh, four fleeces ready to go. The advantage of using the center pull ball for plying is right there because when you get done there's nothing left except uh, uh, and no leftover for all of the hand spun that you've made. This is ready to come off in a skein on a on a nitty knotty and then to be tied and I put, I'll put one tie on, put a clove hitch in with the end and uh, you can dip that and, and put it in the dye baths and pull it out and when you're done then you're ready to turn that then into a center pull ball and then use it. So finished yarn from a very simple process from Tibetan spittle, spindle singles onto the nostapine and then spun in the opposite direction which is counterclockwise in this case uh, to make the SZ twist yarn and it's ready for the next step.